Hi friends, welcome to Nessa's Nook. So earlier today I did a video and you won't see this video for a couple days because I have to freeze dry it. But I did decide I did really like the taste of the sliced made into the powder into a drink. So I have the 16 pounds of strawberries. There's still about half of this still in the fridge or in a sink, excuse me. So I got these part cleaned off. So I'm going to show you on a couple trays what I plan to do and then I'll bring you back when it's all done. So I have my um, Vitamix out here and I have about a cup of water at the bottom because for starters, the strawberries, you know, obviously have its own natural sugar. Um, the freeze dryer is not a big fan of a lot of um, sugars, obviously. I thought I got all those leaves off, but I missed a few. So I'm going to go ahead and push this back. Now this is going to get a little bit noisy. Let me get my little thing that goes in the end here. Thought I grabbed everything. Now with the Vitamix, you always start it on low, on low, you know, no, no numbers and on low, and then you just bring up the speed. Now I don't plan to fill up these trays super full. Switch strawberry at the end of that one there. So what I'm gonna do is I have the five trays. I may have to do multiple loads of this, I'm not for sure. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and just pour this in the tray. Where it's not so full, I can't walk with it, which should be, it should take all that. So, oh, make a big mess over here. Okay, so what's going to happen is I'm going to um, start the freeze dryer, and each load is going to look like this. And um, then what's going to happen is when this gets freeze dried, then I'll actually crunch this up and just make this all into one big powder. Um, that did taste really, really good. And I am going to attempt that even with the lemon. I think that would be very, very good. And of course you could do strawberry lemon. And I'm even thinking about, and I don't know for sure if this is gonna work or if you guys have tried it. Um, I have a steam canner that I steam can some of our peaches that were so super small from our tree this year. Have you guys ever steam canned, or steam, yeah, steam canned, I guess that's a word, steam, steam canned, I guess. The, the peach juice. Well, my husband says it's not super peachy, so I'm wondering if I took that and I actually um, cooked it down, make it a little bit thicker, wouldn't that bring out the peach more? And I and I would can make the powdered peach juice or powdered peach flavor from that uh, peach juice I have too, because I have a lot of peach juice and I love peaches, so. I might be doing that too, but I'll bring you back um, once this is done. This is going to be, like I said, this is going to be at least a day, um, probably longer than a day because of the seeds and stuff. It's going to take a little bit longer, but um, I'll bring you back and I'll make up the powder and I'll show you what I'm doing on all that. So I'll be back. Hi friends, welcome back. Today, the actual, the freeze dryer did get done with the strawberries. So this has been on extra dry for quite a few hours now. So I'll just go ahead and I'll show you on one, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. And I'll go ahead and um, uh, get some ground up. So just like with the rest of any of the stuff that's in these cans, as you can see, this actually, it's like styrofoam, okay? It is kind of cool. It actually smells exactly like strawberries. I was taking a pretty good sniff of it when it came out of the freezer dryer. My husband probably thinks I'm crazy. Okay, well, he knows I'm crazy, so that's all that matters, right? But this is going to give me quite a bit of drink. Strawberry drinks throughout the rest of the spring and summer. Now, one thing I was thinking, and I haven't done it yet, but 
You know how I'm making that strawberry um, extract? I'm going to go ahead and right now temporarily put it in that two and a half gallon bag. But um, that strawberry extract, and I'm thinking to myself, I wonder how that would taste, some of that strawberry powder being put in like a white cake of my own homemade white cake, if that would actually taste good. And then, so what's your, what I'm going to be doing on each tray, because it's going to look like this, I'm just going to go ahead and smush this down so I don't have to get out the food processor. And it will just become a powder like so. So let me get these other trays done, and I'll be right back. All right, so that's all five trays. So what I'm going to do... Let's take my rolling pin. And just get this to be about as fine as powder as possible. I mean, yes, I can throw it through my food processor, but you know, I just don't want to do more dishes. <laughs> that air all out of there now. Let's see exactly how much is in there. So this, my friends, is about, um, I would probably say I had 16 pounds. This is probably a good 10 pounds of strawberries <laughs> made into this. So I think, honestly, I'll have to go get a half young container, but let me go get that. I'll get that poured in and I'll be right back. All right, so I went and got my half gallon container. And this is how I do this when my husband's not here to help me and I want to get things bagged up. Because I'll take my my gallon bag here, or my two, two and a half gallon bag, and then I'll use my funnel like this, and um, gosh, that smells so good. <laughs> um, I'll use my funnel and just go ahead and put this in here like so. I made another big mess all over my counter, but. What else is new, right? So note to self, about 10 pounds of strawberries makes a half a gallon of strawberry powder. I mean, isn't that just beautiful? So, what I'll do, I need a container for this. I'll just get that lid real quick just to get it on there. Yeah, it's so clean off my counter. It's all sticky now. So I'm going to go ahead and use I got the same amount that I kind of like used the other day. Go ahead and put in the two spoonfuls. Get that covered up. I'll get that vacuum sealed in a little bit here. I have the ice in there so I know how it will taste now with the ice. But look how nice and red and pretty that is. So here goes, folks. So here goes. Mm. That's a taste of summer right there. Now, obviously, I can stir that up a little bit more. As you can see, you have the little bites of strawberries, which is kind of cool. Um, you could definitely stir this up a lot better than that. I would just do that really quickly. But I need, I do know this works now, and um, 
when strawberries go back on sale, I will probably do this again because it is just so easy and very yummy. So have you ever done anything like this? Um, put in the comments down below. And thank you very much for stopping by. You have a very blessed and wonderful day.